Hey everyone, for TrekHomes.com, I'm Ashley Manning, and this is Careers in Cannabis. On this show, we sit down with staffing agencies, cannabis companies, and other industry professionals to discuss employment opportunities in the burgeoning cannabis industry. A majority of those who have a career in cannabis have a personal connection to the plant. And with that, they have combined their previous skill sets to a similar career path in cannabis that helps move cannabis in the right direction. Today's guest did just that. He personally understands the potential that cannabis has to help aid in our overall mental and physical health. He not only has fought for our country, he's now fighting with our country to protect cannabis. He's invested in several cannabis companies, wore many hats in the decade that he's had his career in cannabis. And now he's providing end-to-end cannabis business consulting services for investors, innovators, and brands needing to sustainably scale. On this episode, we talk with Derek Porter, Chief of Staff at Gateway Proven Strategies, who are advancing the global cannabis market through their proven strategic advisory, business development, licensing, compliance, operations, and mergers and acquisitions portfolio. Hey, Derek, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great to have you here, you know. uh, First things first is uh, I'd like to say, you know, we're coming up on Memorial Day weekend and uh, I know you served in the Marine Corps, and so first, thank you for your service, oh, you. and also, also, um, you know, sending my appreciation to those you may have lost during the battle or you know off the battlefield as well. That's one one thing that Memorial Day is important, you know, to memorialize those. So Absolutely. I hope that I'm extending that to you, and and I hope it's a, a good weekend for you. Thank you very very much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, So thanks for being here on Careers in Cannabis today. And I just want to get straight to it. Uh, it. So, you know, thank you. Thank you for your service. And then, you know, all right, Mr. Serial Entrepreneur. (laughs) (laughs) I'd love to start with what you were doing right before you had a career in cannabis. Okay, so right before I was setting up my first security company, um, I'd just gotten away from the executive protection world in California. So, so, you know, bodyguarding, even th- that's the, that's the, 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 the broken term that we don't like to use in, in that side of the industry, but, uh, uh, moving away from that and really wanted to set up my own shop and, uh, was going to aim at the corporate space and, you know, just compete with the big multi-billion dollar companies that are already doing it, uh, thinking that I would stand a chance. Um, (laughs) and with that being said, uh, I had realized, um, from, by way of a client that started with one client and I've always been near and dear to the plant and, and so forth. But, uh, by way of one particular client uh, that was referred over to me, um, I started immersing myself in, in educating myself with regards to the regulations, compliance, policy, and so forth, and knowing more about the. At that time, it was it was just uh, medicinal. So we're we're talking uh, early or late uh, 2011, and it was in Colorado. Uh, and then from there, real I like wow, okay, so it's it's uh, it's regulated. They have to have security. Like I think I just found, uh, I think I just found my my niche. And uh, boy, was that was that a good forethought that really worked out well. Wow. So uh, sec- I'm assuming you have a security background in in what you were doing in the Marine Corps. Indeed. Yeah. So 21 years in total now, uh, right at 21 years in, in, in security in total, but 11 coming up on 11 of those really focused in cannabis. The last few years have been less uh, security related. Uh, it's been more, I, I literally like to say entrepreneurial related, even though to some people, entrepreneurs, you know, that word has so many different meanings, but in a matter of speaking, it's, it's the whole gamut, you know, it's from the creation of the business to, polishing a brand, you know, putting everything to fruition, making it profitable, and then even taking it to exit. Uh, so developed a lot of skills by way of uh, building uh, a few different companies in that sense. And specific only to security? Then? Uh, so it, it just it just started with security. I, I, I realized that was really my trade craft. Um, yes, from uh, special operations unit in the Marines to a private military to do an executive protection uh, dozens of different certifications in security 
and then ultimately going as far as formal education, going all the way to getting a master's in security. Uh, so it was, it was all, it, it just really fit. And, and I, and I knew that, um, you know, it was a natural mindset for me. Uh, I knew I was good at it. Uh, so yeah, that, I knew I wanted to stay very focused with that, but, uh, found my, uh, my diversification in cannabis. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so when I think of someone in security for cannabis, I'm thinking, are you driving, doing cash, cash runs with, with some of the operators and such? Yeah. So it's, it's really from A to Z, you know, it's, it's the, uh, it's the security personnel, it's the, the people that are, you know, they're walking around armed, they're protecting the buildings, whether it's, you know, your dispensary or your grow. It's uh, the transportation, and, and we've done it all. Um, it's the systems integration. That's really the big component. That's the regulated component. And when I say systems integration, I mean your access control, your intrusion system, your CCTV system, and so forth. Uh, so really the whole gamut there, but also getting into SOP, security regimens, a, a whole dichotomy, like a dichotomy development uh, for staff, getting owners in the right mindset, um, a variety of different things in that aspect. So there's a lot of, I call it, you know, your Sherpa of the mountain type of consultation uh, to where you really have to handhold and and allow people to understand so they can stick to what they're good at. And, and you as the vendor with security, you know, we stick to what we're good at and, and uh, really show them the light. Like this is going to be the best practices. This is what's going to be the most cost effective for you, uh, given your area, given your risk. Uh, so really a comprehensive, holistic approach with security. Okay. I like the way you put that uh, yeah. holistic approach, you know, cannabis, exactly. same thing. Exactly. Um, so, uh, so you said you, do you mind sharing your personal connection to the plan? Is yeah. it, is it helped you or family members? Yeah, indeed. So I'm, uh, you know, out in the open, I'm diagnosed with, uh, uh, it's a form of post-traumatic stress. It's called uh, hypervigilance disorder. Uh, so back in 2009, I was actually diagnosed with extreme hypervigilance disorder. Uh, cannabis along with, uh, heavy therapeutic regimens, of course, cannabis was helpful. Uh, so that was a, a medicinal quality that I learned to really believe in. I've met many, many veterans who it's been far more helpful than others, but many vets where it's been more helpful for them than it has been even for me. Um, and then of course, in high school, I mean, you know, we're, we're all adults here and we're in the industry, uh, for recreational purposes, I discovered, I'm glad I discovered cannabis and really just sort of stuck to marijuana and didn't get into any, you know, harder things, heavier drugs or designer drugs or anything like that. I'm glad I was able to dodge those bullets uh, as a kid. Uh, but I've always been an advocate and ha I have uh, got from employees to family members and friends uh, who have really benefited, you know, some, some terribly ill, uh, I've had employees in the past whose, uh, you know, children were terribly epileptic and, and they were, uh, they were really, excuse me, really aided with, uh, you know, the whole entourage effect with regards to marijuana and how it can help to, uh, significantly reduce, uh, nasty seizures and so forth. So just, uh, and then of course on the, the hemp side of the fence too, you know, all the different uses that there are for hemp. So really just believe, uh, I, I think the industry before it was an industry it was treated very unfairly, um, and I've always believed in the properties. I, I you know, I, I believe it is the safest of all the recreational things you can do. Uh, you know, look at look at alcohol, look at all the other drugs, uh, and then look at even on the, the medicinal side of things, uh, you know, big pharma with the different synthetics. Uh, that, you know, in pill form that they produce that are terribly toxic for you. Um, so yeah, just, a, a, I wouldn't say I'm a, a power advocate, uh, but I am, I am an advocate. I'm, I'm proud to say I'm a good steward uh, and proud to say I'm a good ambassador to the industry. I want to do right by the industry. That's great. And you're protecting the industry and keeping it safe. So Indeed, yeah. until we get That's these, way of doing especially it. until we Especially until we get banking figured out, uh, it's gonna, you know, we're really gonna need your services. Right, I know. And you just <laughs> on your on your last gig, I was just listening to you. You were talking a lot about banking. Uh, yeah, I was I was almost wanting to to really to really chime in. God, we could have a whole other episode here on on just the banking piece with regards to security. Yes, absolutely. And a lot of great things came from from that event, a lot of good insights and take backs. So right. I look forward to doing them, doing them some more, you know, bringing those two two communities together. So yeah. um, so 
So you've covered some of the things that you've done in the industry that got you to where you are, you know, leading up to a career in cannabis. So what are you currently working on? You have plenty of lots of hats and lots yeah. of titles. And so what what's going on with you now? Absolutely. Yeah. So very uh, fortunate to be diversified in a lot of uh, uh, different organizations. Uh, you know, that that whole as you thank you for the for the, the title. It was never self-proclaimed with being a serial entrepreneur. Uh, so having my my some investments, in, you know, hemp operations to Wisconsin to uh, um, investments into uh, veteran owned CBD brands. But now really my my baby, I'm very passive in those other investments. My baby now is a uh, gateway proven strategies, uh, which is a comprehensive premier global uh, cannabis consulting firm. Uh, which which is a, a mouthful when you think about it. But in short, it is an ecosystem with regards to a network that pushes internationally uh, to to really bridge the gaps <clears throat> with anyone from, uh, you know, your plant touching operations to your ancillary vendors and so forth, trying to help MSOs continue to be MSOs. Uh, trying to help people uh, uh, reach overseas, trying to aid in steering uh, investments, the domestic dollars that are going foreign, foreign dollars that are wanting to penetrate domestically, so on and so forth. Um, and, and still at the same token, being good stewards, good ambassadors to the industry, pushing environmental social governance, uh, corporate social responsibility, so on and so forth. Uh, trying to put our best foot forward there. And so far, so good. We've had a couple of hiccups with COVID, not unlike uh, everyone, but the fact that we were still growing, uh, albeit slow for a little bit there, the fact that we were still growing, gaining more clientele, more investors, uh, I'm I'm so, so very proud and, and continue to be excited. We've got some great things in the hopper right now. Oh, very exciting. What is your role there? So I'm the uh, chief of staff. So <laughs> oh, you're the is, boss. Well, I, I report to, I, I'm a partner and an investor. <laughs> I report to, to two uh, individuals and to two individuals only. Um, and that's uh, Bob Hoban, who is the, the president and co-founder. And then our CEO, Charles Feldman, who is also a co-founder. Um, I It was not my brainchild. I definitely climbed aboard and, and I'm helping to raise the baby for sure. Um, and and really immerse, have really immersed myself in it. Uh, but, uh, so they make a lot of decisions and they're, you know, they're serial entrepreneurs themselves. They, they have, uh, they have a lot of irons and different fires as well. Um, it's, I would say we have a good core team. Um, I share a lot of hats. I also wear many of those hats, some of them most of the time. Uh, but I have great cohorts, um, to where, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a fabulously diversified team. Uh, to where we attack different things. We all have our different strengths and so forth. Uh, however, you could say that I'm third in charge. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> day, day to day boss, but at the end of the day, you know, if, if they wanted to, we usually always see eye to eye, but if they wanted to, uh, my senior partners could veto me and just say, Derek, we're going to do it this way. <laughs> well, it sounds like a good business venture. You know, you get a group of serial entrepreneurs who all have experience of different, you know, parts of the supply chain and cannabis and yeah. bring them together to move this industry forward. And it makes perfect sense as to why you guys all work together. So Certainly. Gateway Proven Strategies, uh, it's been around for a year, two years now? We're coming up. Official launch. Yeah. So, I, you know, on paper, it's been almost two years. However, I would say, you know, official launch, if you will, what I like to call the ramp up of any startup, which to me, in my mind, it's always 36 months for any startup uh, ramp up. Uh, so you got your three year mark. We're literally like right at month 17 of a 36 month ramp up. So we're, we're still we're 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 barely entering that that toddler phase, kind of sort of. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I hope I look forward to seeing the. The growth there yeah. um, is Gateway Proven Strategies hiring at all? We sure are. Yeah, so we're we're always hiring uh, project based. It's a good question. So we're we're project based by way of uh, what I like to say the totality of the circumstances per client and per client engagement. Um, there are times where we get uh, referrals that come in, and sometimes that referral says, "Well, we've worked with so and so for years, and they referred you, so they need to come." 
come with the program or come with the project. We've done that many times and we find a way to adapt and adopt. Um, but we also are hiring uh, some individuals internally. We need some more administration logistics help. Uh, we're onboarding a fractional CFO right now. Uh, we're moving forward with uh, an administrative and controller uh, individual. And then soon enough, as we continue to take on more projects, we'll, we'll need more project leads or, or project managers. So uh, right now, again, I know we're open about uh, uh, the positions right now. Um, I believe you can find them on LinkedIn at the moment, uh, but they do, you know, once they hop up, they hop off. And a lot of it is referral based, network based. You know, we always reach out uh, to our network first before we put it on blast that we're hunting. Yeah. yeah. What would be your ideal candidate, you know, for a, for a role with you guys what kind of experience? I feel like they need to come with some heavy value. Certainly. Yeah. It's, especially in that startup role. So, Believing and working with startups previously, I think is huge because we, you know, you, a lot of times you get individuals that are coming from a, a, a very stereotypical nine to five. They're coming from a, a corporate space where they have that, that job security, that safety net. Um, they only have to do one specific thing, one very specific job description. And uh, we need self starters, you know, to where I can, we can hand over this and say, here's all the pieces of the puzzle, put it together and, and we'll pay you X um, or, or find a way, you know, there's a few pieces missing. They're over there somewhere. You'll have, you'll have to find them. Uh, they're in the safe. Yeah. Yeah. They're in the safe. So you gotta, you gotta crack the safe. You gotta find a way, you know, you have to tackle through me. Uh, so, so individuals, I guess a, a shorter way to say it are individuals that can wear a lot of hats, uh, and that believe in, uh, you know, that those young startup values also too, I should have said this first individuals that are experience oriented with cannabis. They, you know, I always say you either know the industry or you don't, uh, and you have to find your way in somewhere. I, I believe that as well, but, uh, we're, it, it's a little trickier for us in, in the sophistication and the dynamics of how we deal in the consultancy area of cannabis to take on, um, individuals that have zero experience. So we definitely need individuals that have operational experience in cannabis. Absolutely makes sense. Yeah. That's uh, you guys, you know, you get a project that comes in, you need to be able to hand it to them, like you said, and Certainly. they need to know how to execute or at least know how to navigate the waters in order to execute. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So makes perfect sense. So um, they're listed on LinkedIn, those positions. Mm -hmm. um, are they able to reach out to you uh, personally or is there a gener general email? There, There is and, and everything uh, is combed through. Nothing, nothing slips past. Um, I used to I used to throw out, I stopped doing this. I used to throw out my work email, but I'm finally at a point where I get inundated just enough uh, to where if it's going out to the masses, especially for something job related, which which I don't handle that stuff. I'm fortunate enough to where I, I don't have to do that. Um, no, so instead of my email address, uh, definitely very simple, uh, info at, so I-N-F-O uh, at G-P-S dot global, uh, everything uh, that goes inbound uh, through that technical contact will, will always be viewed, uh, any inquiry. Awesome. I guarantee it. I'm very familiar with the team over there and they are yeah. top notch on par with making sure they respond. Thank Otherwise you. you lose a client. Yeah, no kidding, right? You lose a, you <laughs> so, lose a lead. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that lead could be a, a very big, important part revenue generator to, to getting a startup going. That, that so be, can't have that. Yeah, that could be the game changer lead. You never know. That that one applicant who's applying, who has a couple projects that backlog waiting for someone to execute. So, yep. Yep. <laughs> um, so last question I have for you today is what would be some big brother advice you would give someone who's on the fence about having a career in cannabis? Certainly, certainly. So, uh, uh, knowing the cultural dynamics. Okay. So that was a major learning curve for me. So even though, it, it, I, I used to think, you know, well, when I entered in, in 2011, I guess from a commercial standpoint, I was new, but I was a user 
you know, I, I, I was a user prior to that and I, and I advocated prior to that. So it's, it's like, you know, well, well, how, you know, how new is anybody that's like, I guess you're, you're new at a professional level, uh, but understanding cultural dynamics with plant touching operations. Um, and, and it's, you know, every industry has its own culture. And then of course you, you, uh, you, that's, that's the macro view. And then the micro view is, you know, the individualized company cultures, right. Uh, in different organizations and their internal cultures. Uh, so knowing the, uh, knowing the dynamics there, you know, that, that, that open-mindedness, um, you know, <laughs> you know, even though the fun factors that come with it, that so many people are just simply not used to, um, in the sense that the, a lot of the, you know, the, the networking events, the after parties are, uh, they're going to be a lot different than, than a stereotypical happy hour with a lot of other industries. Um, uh, but that makes it a lot more fun. And just uh, remembering where a lot of, especially what I consider the veterans of the industry. So anyone that's probably, quite frankly, 40 or older um, that has been in the industry since they were young, they are definitely the veterans. They were doing it when it was still very black market. Um, and they have a particular way of doing things. They have a very different mindset. And uh, their way was wrong, uh, you know, from a legal standpoint for a very long time, you know, so they, they have a, a protective, they almost have hypervigilance disorder in the sense that, uh, you know, they're, they're guarded. So knowing things like that and, and having a firm understanding, even if you just took a half a day you know, watched a couple of documentaries, did some research on the regulations and uh, policy and the lobbying and sort of the movement that's occurring, how it's helping people medicinally dive into the hemp side, just educate yourself with the culture and that will pull you further in with regards to an overall all encompassing education of the industry itself. Uh, I know that was a long winded answer, but I wish I would have done more than that along the lines of that before I decided, okay, I'm just going to start orienting all my marketing to aim at marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. I learned the hard way by, by doing and, and, you know, meeting companies as I went, which, which I, you know, I learned regardless, but I wish I would have done more research and a little bit more homework ahead of time. It's, that's great big brother advice and definitely culture. Uh, I think this is probably the sixth time, you know, on my on careers in cannabis that someone has said culture. You need to understand the culture um, because you're absolutely right. Those after parties after the conference are not like uh, the banking world right. after party conferences. Yeah. I've been to the Golden Key party. I'm a loyal, uh, which Gateway Proven Strategies last year two years ago sponsored right. um, and been to all of them. So I understand what it's like and it's fun and there's nothing scary about them, but that's when you really see the culture and how connected the relationships are in the industry. Everybody kind of takes their work hat off and just eases and relaxes for a little bit, take, get out of hyper vigilance phase mm -hmm. and, and associates with people and have much respect for the veterans in the industry. They have literally paved they've done more than paved this path they have like dug the holes they have been flooded in the holes and walked yeah. through the mud and here we are i feel like we literally have a me personally i'm four or five years into the industry you know i feel like there's literally a, a red carpet rolled out for us there's still some work to do but sure. you know that's how i feel and have much respect for the people that came from from the former illicit market and yeah. are really moving forward so certainly and but having respect for them indeed yeah absolutely and, and you're fortunate you went to the golden key party that was before i invested and climbed aboard and i'm a little jealous because i've heard the stories i saw the pictures and we're not gonna do it this year however next year we're gonna put on a golden key party you know like times five of of that first one uh, so that'll be, you know, you'll have to attend that one. Maybe that'll be something everyone that I, listens I, to this can look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'll probably do more than attend. Uh, I'd like to help out on that. That's, yeah. uh, you know, something that I really enjoy doing and, uh, I've done them as well on opposing days of the golden, golden key party. And, uh, um, I might raise my, I, come I re might raise, I, I might be, you know, the, the selfish one and raise my hand and say, I don't want to help at all, but I promise I will party hard at that party. <laughs> are you get? will you sponsor it then we'll take your money oh, then to yeah, right? pay for it because yeah. they're pretty expensive oh, yeah yeah that's a, but 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 those expensive parties boy do they uh 
they they come with their benefits, don't they? <laughs> yes, I mean you you really get to know people a little bit more off the, the expo floor and really can connect. I think more so than than you know a B two B networking event. It just seems it seems to connect more. People get to see the real you and. You know, the next year you have a nice, nice uh, contact base of people to reach out to and reconnect with and keep doing that every year. I encourage people to do as many events as possible if they can, Absolutely. even if they're looking for a career in cannabis, you know, start doing events, you know, events is events and just put a, you know, add someone who understands the cannabis industry and connect the dots. And yeah, there you go. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. I, I agree with you. Well, I appreciate your time today, Derek. Yeah. It's been good to hear your story. I've been intrigued to know what your story was, and uh, that's why I reached out to see if you would be interested in sharing that with me today. Absolutely. Ashley, thank you so much. You're always a rock star. It's always awesome to talk to you. Thank you for thinking of me and having me on your show. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Derek. And thanks for to Gateway Proven Strategies for off, giving your time today to me as well. So, Absolutely. Uh, much love. And I hope you have, have a great Memorial Day weekend. And it's a, a, a happy one for you. To you as well. Thank you again. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Derek. Hey, thanks for watching our channel. Click here to watch another episode of Careers in Cannabis and more great shows and interviews. To find more cannabis industry reporting, insider stories, and to stay up to date on the latest trends, make sure you subscribe and keep up to date with the Tricomes community app. Download it now and we'll see you there.